Hi everybody, my name is Neil Malik. I'm from Knack Training, and this is Q&A with Neil. So when an email hits my inbox, and it's about, I don't know, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, Google Apps for Business, whatever it's about. Um, if it's interesting, I like to record it on video. So that way the person who asks the question can get a easily repeatable, easily watchable set of steps to solve their problem. And the people who didn't ask the question, who didn't send in the email, can still get the benefit of the question in the first place. So today's question comes in from Rachel in Canada, and considering in Southern California today it was 98 degrees, and later this week it's supposed to be 106. Canada sounds really good right about now. Rachel says, My company's never had its information in one area before. They retype information for every report. Uh, so I want to show them how much time they could save by having a single database and create from it all the reports they want. I'm stumped because I can't seem to get the rows for a specific building name into a separate sheet. Um, if I have a drop-down list on another tab, I'd like to get the rows for a particular building name or another column for that matter. Excellent. Thanks for the question, Rachel. And of course, the first step of this is understanding that Microsoft has created about 10 different overlapping tools that could accomplish very similar things to what you're asking about. Um, I think that the right answer is probably going to be a pivot table and potentially even multiple pivot tables. So when we go in here, I'm going to show you guys how to filter and then we'll take it a step further and we'll filter using pivot tables specifically. So here's our data. As you can see, I've made some dummy data that kind of looks like what Rachel's does. Uh, what she's got is these different buildings, apartment buildings and condo buildings, and she's got records for all the people who occupy the different condos and the different apartments. So what she's looking for is the ability to make reports that are filtered based off the building that somebody lives in, so that you could show uh, just Woodland Court, for example. Now what we're going to do first is we're going to filter this information. I'm going to do that by going to the Home tab at the top of the screen clicking on format as table and when you click on format as table just you know pick one of the aesthetic options that pleases you you don't really have to you know pick anything in particular and then just click OK to the box that comes up okay so now we've got these drop down menus these are the auto filters that are going to let us filter this down by the property that they're talking about. So if you just deselect checkboxes and click certain checkboxes, you are now showing that checkbox. And uh, so as you can see here, this is just Swallow Ridge. But the problem with this kind of filtering is that it's all in place. What she was looking for was the ability to create multiple reports based off of the central data instead of different views of that central data. So instead, what we'll do is we will go ahead and clear the filter and we'll turn this into a pivot table. And what I'm thinking is you can just repeat these steps for as many different buildings as you have. And uh, from there, you'll be able to go to each page and see that building's information. To create a pivot table, you click somewhere on the data, use the insert tab at the top of the screen, and on the insert tab you'll see over on the far left is this pivot table option. Now all these settings are fine because they're basically saying make a pivot table on a new sheet. And as you can see this is a new blank pivot table. And what I'm going to do first is just use that rows box down at the bottom and put in there uh, the address, the city, the state, the owner, all of those fields that I want to show um, for each of the buildings. And so I'm just dragging each one into that rows box down there at the bottom. Now at this point, we've got the data we want, but it's not presented correctly. As you can see, it's vertically presented here. So going up to the design tab at the top of the screen for your pivot table, the first thing we're going to do, and we're gonna do a few different things, is go to report layout and show it in tabular form, which will actually present this horizontally. So here you go, uh, 1000 Williamson Boulevard, Unit 130, Nampa, Idaho. Things are looking pretty good. Um, next up, as you can see down below, we're trying to subtotal for some reason. So we just need to take that out. As you notice, uh, up at the top there, there's a subtotals button. Just say, don't show subtotals, and we're good there. 
getting closer. 1000 Williamson Boulevard for Unit 130, but 131, 132, 133, we don't have it listed there. So let's go ahead and add that in. Uh, in the Report Layout uh, drop-down menu, you'll see report, Repeat the Labels. So go ahead and click on that. And now we've got 1000 Williamson Boulevard over and over again. I probably don't need this little uh, Expand Collapse button over on the left. So to make that disappear, we're going to go to the Analyze tab at the top of the screen, click on Options, and from there, there's a lot of things you should probably dig into, but we're specifically telling it what not to show. So we're gonna to go to the Display tab, and the first checkbox on the Display tab should be this option, Show the Expand and Collapse button. So I'm just gonna deselect that and hit OK. Perfect. The presentation is perfect but you can see that there are more than one building listed here, so we need to filter it. I take the building name and drop it in the filters, and now this drop-down menu that appears at the top, I have the ability to present any individual building. And this gets you what you want in all versions of Microsoft Excel. But personally, I don't like this filter field. Microsoft actually replaced it with something called a slicer, in the newer versions of Excel. So if you got one of the newer versions, what I'm going to do here is just clear the filter, drag this out of the filters field there, and add a slicer instead for the same thing for that building name. So I click on insert slicer, choose the checkbox for building name, and hit OK. And now as you can see, I just pull this little slicer over to the side, and I can say show me this building, this building, this building, this building. So I just repeat these steps for each of the buildings, and now I've got easily filtered reports. Thanks for the great email, Rachel. If you want your question answered, go ahead and email me, neil at knacktraining.com, and I'll see what I can do for you. Have a wonderful day, and remember, be outstanding at what you do.